My dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, welcome to Daily Bread. Epiphany marks the revelation of Jesus upon earth to mankind. This was the first visible sign of salvation. The angels sang glory to God in the highest and peace to men on earth. The shepherds were guarding their flocks at night and were amazed by the sudden apparition of angels. They speedily went to meet baby Jesus lying in the manger. The three kings from Persia had followed the wonder star and also reached the spot of nativity. Today I ask this question to myself. How I met Jesus? When I meet Jesus, what gifts am I going to have for him? What would he like to have? My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, salvation began at a humble manger and was revealed by angels, first to shepherds and not to noble men. In our daily lives, Jesus our Savior presents himself through our neighbors as one who is hungry, without a shelter, thirsty, as someone deep in debts, naked, as a child to be cared for, as a differently able person, as a family member who longs for love and care, as a sick person, one who requires assistance lying on the road, as an elderly person who needs to be walked across the road, and the list goes on. The three wise men after meeting Jesus decided to choose a different path in life instead of the destructive road of Herod. In the same manner, we also need to follow the footsteps of the three wise kings, choosing the narrow path which is uncomfortable to tread on earth, but one that's full of life leading to heaven. Conversely, the path of Herod is what the world offers to each one of us that is seemingly attractive promising and interesting. We have been warned by the wise men about the deception and the very many manipulation of this world. The path, the truth and the life, as per John chapter 14 verse 6, could only begin from a humble abode. God bless you.